We are still very happy that we actually won the first Double Grand Challenge and Build a Car that could drive itself uh, through the desert. But the new challenge is actually drive in traffic. And it's a great challenge because wherever you go, if you want to build a self-driving car, you have to be able to understand and accommodate traffic. I believe it's a significantly more difficult challenge. And I'm, I'm much less optimistic this time around because traffic is such a complex entity. You have to really understand other cars and interact with them. But if we succeed, we change the world. I'm, I'm an absolute enthusiast for self-driving cars. And the way to look at it is, we're not going to take away the ability to drive a car, you're going to add to a driver. So suppose you come home from a party and you're drunk and tired and you rather want to sleep. I would submit at that time, pushing a button and say, go home for me, or having a little chauffeur in your car, is actually a feature that you would love to have. You wouldn't reject. We're not talking about taking the driving away. Now, look at people who can't drive right now. For example, blind people, elderly people, children and so on. I would say for them, having a self-driving car will make their life richer and better and they will like it.